While the world debates oil, military assets, and global tensions, a different kind of empire is emerging in the North, one built not on territory, but on data. At the center of it is Norway, a country better known for fjords, fish, and fairness than for global dominance. Yet beneath its cold waters and mountains of granite, Norway is building the infrastructure that will decide who controls information in the age of artificial intelligence. Over the past five years, while the US and China competed to build chips, Norway invested in what those chips depend on, energy and data logistics. The result is a nation that now powers and protects a significant share of Europe's cloud systems, submarine cables, and AI computation hubs. Its cables stretch from the Arctic to Ireland, from the North Sea to Japan, forming what analysts call Europe's digital spine. This is geocapitalist, where we track the hidden forces turning data, energy, and geography into power. Subscribe and discover how today's invisible infrastructure shapes tomorrow's empires. In today's video, we uncover how Europe's internet now runs through Norway, a nation of approximately 5.62 million people, built a secret data empire that fuels Europe. For most of the 20th century, Norway's power flowed through pipelines. Oil from the North Sea funded one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds and turned a small nation into an energy superpower. But by the 2020s, Norwegian strategists saw something others missed. Data was the new crude. And whoever controlled the digital routes would inherit the influence once held by oil exporters. In 2025, Norway officially reclassified data centers as critical national infrastructure, the same status as oil rigs or hydroelectric dams. That policy shift unlocked billions in incentives for companies like Microsoft. Amazon Web Services and Green Mountain to expand across Norway's cold valleys, where renewable hydropower makes data storage not just cheap, but carbon neutral. Green Mountain's new Leftdal facility, built inside a former NATO bunker, now ranks among the most energy-efficient data centers on Earth. This wasn't just environmental bragging. By fusing clean power with digital infrastructure, Norway tied its future to Europe's digital transition. Every AI model trained, every financial system processed in Europe, increasingly depends on Norwegian data reliability. Just as the North Sea once fueled Europe's cars, the Nordic cloud now fuels its intelligence. The empire of oil became an empire of algorithms, and the world barely noticed. Under the Arctic ice, a new kind of Silk Road is forming, and Norway is building it. In 2025, the country finalized its section of the Polar Connect Cable, a $2.5 billion project that links Europe to Japan through the Arctic Ocean. It's the first of its kind, a data superhighway that shortens digital latency between Frankfurt, Helsinki, and Tokyo by almost 40%. The cable begins near Tromsø, cuts under the Barents Sea, and joins Japan's Nippon Backbone Network, giving Europe an alternative route that completely bypasses Russian and Chinese waters. Alongside Polar Connect, Norway operates the Havfru Mermaid Cable, connecting its shores to Ireland, Denmark, and the U.S. East Coast. Together, these routes make Norway the central switchboard of transatlantic and transarctic data. The government has even announced plans to link its Svalbard satellites directly into this cable network, allowing real-time Arctic surveillance and AI-driven environmental monitoring. But this isn't just about faster internet. Control of undersea cables equals control of information flow and influence. By combining maritime geography with digital strategy, Norway has positioned itself as the gatekeeper of Europe's connectivity. Every terabyte passing under the North Sea now carries a quiet imprint of Norwegian oversight. What gives Norway this edge isn't just technology and its electricity. More than 97% of Norway's energy already comes from hydroelectric power. 
In 2025, its North Sea Link and Nord Link cables connected that renewable surplus directly to the UK and Germany, stabilizing grids across Europe. The same grid now powers hyperscale data centers that run Europe's financial, scientific, and AI workloads. This renewable advantage allows Norway to host data hubs that big tech companies can't build elsewhere without exceeding emission targets. For corporations like Meta and Google, the Norwegian model is a lifeline, clean energy, political stability, and Arctic cooling that keeps costs down. Even Tesla's European AI training clusters are migrating compute loads to Norway's green server farms. The synergy between hydropower and data capacity has turned energy policy into digital strategy. Every kilowatt exported or stored strengthens Norway's control over Europe's digital future. Energy diplomacy is now data diplomacy. And because Norway owns both the dams and the data cables, it occupies a unique position, the infrastructure layer beneath Europe's AI revolution. The irony? The world still calls Norway an energy exporter, when in truth it has become something far more powerful, an information exporter. Most nations struggle to balance growth with sustainability. Norway monetized it. The country's Green Digital Strategy 2030, updated this year, mandates that all new data infrastructure must run entirely on renewable energy, and Norway can actually deliver. Its mountains store more hydroelectric potential than any other European nation, and its northern regions are now being transformed into data corridors, combining fiber networks with green power grids. In Telemark and Rogaland, companies like Bulk Infrastructure and Green Mountain are partnering with the European Investment Bank to expand capacity by 40% before 2026. Meanwhile, the government's sovereign wealth fund, the world's largest, is investing billions into fiber routes and green logistics, ensuring domestic ownership over strategic assets. This ecosystem doesn't just serve Europe's cloud demand. It attracts capital from Asia, especially Japan and South Korea, which view Norway as a safe, democratic, and carbon-free alternative to Chinese infrastructure. In effect, Norway is exporting trust. By aligning its environmental credibility with technological infrastructure, it turned green policy into hard power. As one European commissioner privately remarked this year, Norway solved the paradox it made sustainability profitable. And that is what gives this small Arctic nation an influence far beyond its size. Behind closed doors in Brussels, policymakers are candid. Europe's digital backbone now runs through Norway. The EU's Data Resilience Plan of 2025 identifies Norway as one of only three nations with the capacity to host hyperscale computing without fossil dependency. That dependence is strategic and risky. From AI model training to satellite imaging and defense simulation, Norwegian servers now process workloads once handled by US or UK facilities. The European Space Agency's Copernicus Arctic Data Hub, for example, operates almost entirely from a cluster outside Bergen. Every terabyte of Arctic observation, climate modeling, or maritime surveillance flows through Norwegian cables and grids. Yet, this reliance brings both admiration and anxiety. European officials know that if a cyber attack or political rift disrupted Norway's data hubs, vast sectors of the EU could grind to a halt. It's a paradox of sovereignty. To achieve independence from non-Western powers, Europe has deepened its dependence on a small Nordic one. Still, in an era defined by trust, there are few safer hands. Norway's transparent governance, energy stability and strategic geography make it a fortress in the digital storm and the quiet guardian of Europe's intelligence. Across the Atlantic, Washington is watching and worrying. The United States built the first internet backbone, yet in 2025, it finds itself losing influence over its own creation. 
While Norway and the EU coordinate cross-border energy, data, and climate infrastructures, the U.S. remains fragmented between corporate giants and partisan gridlock. America's clean energy transition is advancing, but its data infrastructure still runs largely on fossil-powered grids. Unlike Norway, it cannot guarantee carbon-free computation, a key requirement for European clients after 2024's green data mandate. That single regulatory clause has shifted billions in contracts from American to Nordic providers. Norway also plays a longer game. Instead of competing on scale, it competes on trust, transparency, and neutrality. Its networks are built under democratic oversight, not corporate monopoly. The result is a steady migration of sensitive workloads, from European defense analytics to AI ethics research into Norwegian jurisdiction. The message is subtle but unmistakable. The future of Western digital sovereignty is being written not in Silicon Valley but in Scandinavia. The U.S. can innovate faster, but it can't yet match Norway's alignment of ethics, infrastructure, and energy. And that alignment is the new foundation of digital power. Step back, and Norway's transformation tells a larger story about the 21st century. Power no longer belongs only to those who produce oil or defense instrument. It belongs to those who control the flow of data and electricity. Norway understood this earlier than anyone. By converting its hydropower and geography into digital leverage, it became the invisible backbone of Europe's AI future. In doing so, it also exposed a new geopolitical truth. The next superpowers will be the nations that guarantee stability in an unstable world. And that stability isn't measured in troops or tanks. It's measured in uptime. For Norway, that means the quiet power to shape how Europe works, communicates and thinks. For the United States, it's a wake-up call a reminder that global leadership can erode not through conflict, but through complacency. You've been watching Geocapitalist, where we follow the power shaping the next century. If this breakdown helped you see the bigger picture, I recommend you watch this next video. It connects directly with how the Arctic's digital corridors are redefining global influence. Subscribe and share so you don't miss the next chapter where we uncover how Iceland and Finland are joining the race to build Europe's next great data frontier. This was Europe's Internet Now Runs Through Norway. Thanks for watching and see you next time.